Yo, what is up guys? I'm here with a Beyblade review. So this is going to be a review about uh, Hyperblades Omega Dragonis 85XF. So I meant to do this review a long time ago, it's about I haven't really got a chance. So you know, I'm going to do it right now while I still have time. Anyways, um, here's the front of the bay, as well as, you know, the bottom. And I'm just going to quickly disassemble it and, you know, just go over the parts. Alright, so I'm back and I got the entire Beyblade disassembled. Anyways, I'm going to begin with the bottom or performance tip. And yeah, so this is XF. It's a nice clear blue color. And it's also pretty much uh, the second fastest tip available. I think this is um, out at beat by Flat in terms of speed. Because it's pretty much a huge tip. Well, this one's, you know, obviously small and stuff. And it's pretty good uh, for some combinations, um, you know, it's really hard to control too. And then here's the track, 85, so it's pretty much the shortest track ever released in Metal Fight Beyblade. Um, I honestly don't think they'll be releasing a shorter shorter track than this, considering the fact that Metal Fight Beyblade is at a uh, halt in terms of releases. Um, but yeah, it's also a nice clear blue color and it's also pretty good for uh, some combinations like attack and some stamina ones. And then here we have the Omega Metal, or the Core I think is what you want to call it. I'm not exactly sure, correct me if I'm wrong. Anyways, it's, you know, pretty uh, nice design. You know, it's got the nice grooves right here. I really do like the design, they, you know, they've made it into... And, um, obviously it's not painted. The Tucker Tome edition of Omega Dragonis is painted, um, but has been released it unpainted. And I also think that was a good idea because, you know, the paint does get pretty nasty, um, after several battles. And it's a little bit hollowed out too, but, um, it's still pretty good. And right, here is the, uh, metal frame, I think is what it's called. You know, correct me if I'm wrong again, but, uh, yeah, it's pretty much a, you know, metal piece. It's got, like, these three wing sections. And what you do with it is you get the uh, little core, whatever you want to call it, and you place it, and then you uh, turn it for two modes. So I'm not exactly sure what the modes are called. You know, someone could fill me in, you know, let me know, that'd be great, because I'm not too knowledgeable on the modes and stuff. But here's one mode, and, you know, this part overlaps with this part of the uh, bottom part. And then you just turn it around a little bit, and you get a second mode. And yeah, the mods are pretty unique. They're pretty well, you know, uh, pretty good for smash and stuff. Here is the clear wheels. This is Draganus. It's pretty much um, nice clear blue, and it's an awesome clear wheel. I really do like the design of it. Um, I think it's supposed to resemble a right spin on Dragon in a sense because um, it's a Dragon Bay, and it's right spin, and there's not really much Dragon right spin Beyblades in Metal Fight Beyblade. I think this is the only one, but I'm not exactly sure. So it's a nice clear blue color. Um, you know, it's got the awesome uh, metal dust in it or whatever you want to call it. So it's kind of hard to see by my camera. But, you know, yeah, I really do like this. And according to the WBO, it really has no use, unfortunately. Um, I'm pretty sure it probably does well on flash. It seems to have some pretty good symmetry right here. And then lastly, here we have the uh, Dragonus face. And let's just get my camera to focus. Yeah, so it's uh, it's got the t uh, not the tattoo. It's got a sticker. Um, Hasbro put a sticker already applied to when uh, you purchase this bay. And um, it's a little off, unfortunately, but you know I have to deal with that. And it's a little glossy because I put clear nail polish to protect the sticker and so forth. It's in really good shape. Like the sticker's not been damaged whatsoever, even though I've used it a lot. And, you know, the face bolt itself is sort of a dark clear blue, a little bit darker than the track and tip. And, you know, the dragon design is really, really nice on this. Um, very detailed, similar to the Eldrago face bolt. So, I'm just going to assemble really quick and do a overview of the entire Beyblade assembled, as well as a test launch. Okay, so I'm back with my BB-10, and I got Dragonus assembled again, so let's take a quick look at it again. Um, I know I showed it at the beginning of the video, but I didn't want to take an in-depth look. Uh, so, you know, here's the Beyblade fully assembled. Very, very beautiful, honestly. A very sexy bay. Um, you know, it's the metal wheel, you know, the color scheme is just uh, amazing. I'm a really big fan of the, you know, the blue right here. You know, all around the whole bay. And one thing that I forgot to mention is that, um, according to the anime, uh, 
this baby isn't really uh, the same colors as the anime. So um, I'm just gonna uh, launch it quickly, or very quick, with my launcher grip. And yeah, let's just see how it uh, performs in the stadium. Okay, so as you can see, the Beyblade uh, pretty much just tornado stalled a lot, and uh, I wasn't going to do a complete launch or a complete, you know, launch test because it would take a while. Um, but yeah, also uh, the Beyblade, uh, I know it doesn't really show it in the launch, but this Beyblade scrapes a lot, mainly because of the short track and the tip. The tip is short and the track is short, so whenever you launch this, it scrapes pretty much instantly if you perform any kind of slide shoot or anything. So, you know, if you're planning to buy this bay, make sure you uh, switch out the track or the tip because this bay blade will scrape a lot and will possibly damage your stadium. You know, if you have a BB-10, you don't want to get that thing damaged. And yeah, so this pretty much uh, sums up my review of Omega Dragonis. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe for more. And yeah, until next time guys, see ya.